Hello and welcome to this tutorial on angular motion and the angular motion equation. Before we jump in both feet into this tutorial, I strongly recommend that you watch my tutorial on radius. If you look at your screen in this table, there is the linear motion equation shown in white, and on the far right, shown in yellow, is the angular motion equation. Let's go over the symbols. This weak letter is pronounced alpha. It's used as a symbol for angular acceleration. This Greek letter is pronounced omega, and it's used for angular velocity. And this last Greek letter, theta, is the Greek letter used for angular displacement. The units for alpha is radians per second squared. The unit for omega is radian per second. And the unit for theta is radians. Convert those to linear, as I said in another tutorial, that any time you see the word radian, you can substitute it by radius length. Linear acceleration would equal radius length times alpha. Velocity would be the radius times omega. And displacement x would equal radius times theta. Final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. That's the linear equation. From here, we can see that velocity was r times final omega equals initial velocity, which is r times initial omega plus and for acceleration would be r alpha times t. You extract radius r length plus alpha t. And this r cancels with this r. And the angular motion equation equivalent to this equation would become omega final equals omega initial plus alpha t. And you can see how the rest of these equations would fall in place just the same way. Each one of these, let's say displacement, x equals x initial plus initial velocity times t plus one half accelerations times t squared x equals r theta r theta equal r theta initial plus r omega initial times t plus one half r alpha times t squared. If you divide both sides by r, you'll be left with theta equals theta initial plus omega initial times time plus one half alpha times squared. And that's your second equation. Let's do an example. An industrial drill with a radius of 10 inches can reach 7,000 RPMs, that's revolutions per minute, in four seconds from rest. Calculate the angular speed acceleration and displacement. Also calculate the linear speed acceleration and displacement. So this is what's given. The radius is 10 inches or rotates counterclockwise which is positive in angles. We need to know the angular displacement, the angular velocity, angular acceleration, and the time it goes from 0 to 4 to 7,000 RPMs. It's 4 seconds. First of all, let's convert this. I like to convert my units in a table format. We have 7,000 revolutions per minute. Well, first of all, let's convert minutes to seconds. We know that one minute has 60 seconds in it. That would help us cancel out the minutes. And one revolution has two pi radians. We see that minute here cancels with the minute here. One revolution here cancels with a revolution here. And what do we have left is radians per second, which is exactly what we need. Let's see what that equals. Let's get the calculator. And so we have 7,000 times 2 times pi. divided by 60 seconds. And that's 733 radians per second. The final angular velocity equals 733 radians per second. So now that we have the final angular velocity, and we know that initial angular velocity is zero, so it starts from rest. Now the average angular velocity would be, would be 733 plus 0, 733 plus 0 divided by 2, 
and that's 366.5 rads per second. And we also could figure out the acceleration. Now the acceleration, which is alpha, alpha equals final angle of velocity minus initial angle of velocity divided by time, which equals 733 minus 0 divided by 4 seconds, and that equals 183.25. Per second square. And last, we need to find out the angular displacement, theta. Theta equals theta initial plus initial omega times t plus one half, one half alpha times t square. The initial displacement was zero plus initial angular velocity is zero times four seconds plus one half the acceleration, which was 183.25 times 4 seconds square, which is 16. This term is 0, this term is 0, and this here is 0.5 times 183.25 times 16. 1,466 radians. 1,466 radians. To figure that to figure the linear counterparts for these, remember in the radian tutorials I told you that any time the bridge between linear and angular is the word radian, and radian means radius length. We know that the radius is 10 inches, and of course we have to convert that to metric 10 inches. We know that 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters, and 1 meter has a hundred centimeters in it. The inches cancel with the inches, the centimeters cancel with the centimeters, and what we have is 10 times 2.54 divided by 100 in meters, which is 0 0.254 meters, and that's the radius. So the angular displacement, x equals r times theta, which equals 0 0.254 times 1,466 radians. That equals 0 0.254 times 1,466 radians. 372.4 meters. That means if there is a point on the outer edge of that drill, that's how much travels. When we go 1,466 radians, that point in linear distance travels 372 meters. Next, we need to figure velocity. Velocity equals radius times omega. 0 0.254 times 366.5, which equals 93.1 meters per second. And the acceleration, A equals radius times alpha equals 0 0.254 times which is 183. square.